you're supposed to get two hands worth of casting. That's what it showed and said online, presented online. And you're not going to get it out of this when it takes a big bucket and a lot of alginate to do it. But it cost a whole $5.59. I probably would have been better off purchasing the big kit that you're supposed to buy for this kind of thing. And it would have probably been a much better deal. And this here is my second order of this. This is the cat mold for the uh, earring or pendant. And this is the pendant I did last time. So, as you can see, they're not very large. But they would make great earrings except for this has been <clears throat> probably a week, maybe a week and a half since I did this. And this is still kind of bendable. It goes back into shape, but these tips are extremely sharp. So it's something you might want to consider. Um, I do like the mold. Uh, I think if I had to do anything to keep these from being too sharp would be to go ahead and dip them into more resin and just let it sort of ball up there a little bit. But all in all, it was good mold and that's why I purchased a second one so I could do two at a time for earrings. Oh good, my second cord is here. This is a USB-C and USB-A cord for uh, charging your Android phones um, and tablets. And I have two tablets and two phones I need to have charged all the time. And lately they won't accept even their own charging cords. But this right here worked out really well. I've got one on my tablet I'm using right now for filming this. I'll be ordering some more different colors in the future. And I should have another one of these in here. Um, these are reverse tweezers. And what they are for is when you have troubles grabbing things out of your resin or your paintings, these tweezers, they stay closed automatically. You have to depress the sides so that all you need to do is open it up, pinch on, and not worry about dropping anything. I bought one specifically for resin and one specifically for my paintings. And this is one of the cutest little things on the planet. It's a little seahorse die. This is for uh, embossing paper or if the paper is thin enough to cut through paper. And I thought it was really cute, but I don't really do a whole lot of paper crafts. So before I use him, I'm going to go ahead and make a silicone inlay out of him or her. 
I don't know. I think I'm going to call it a her. It's got a flower in its hair. All right, next up. These are PET stickers. These I'm going to use for resin as well. And they're a bunch of different colored butterflies. And they are beautiful. The only problem I have with these types of things is that when you put them in resin, the edging of these shows. Now I have thought of a workaround about that. And you just take a pair of scissors and trim them a little closer is all. Oops. Boy. Okay, so. Let's see, if I remember, there was 40 in each pack, and I ordered this one in a different color one. All it says is white on here, but I'm pretty sure it was a 40 pack. And before I lose it all over the place, I'm trying to actually get it back, gathered up to get it back in the package. Which is a little difficult. They're slippery little guys. And just a fair warning, in case you couldn't tell from the last time, there's a lot of crackly noises because of the plastic. I'm really sorry about that. And I kind of make it a little worse, I guess, because, well, paper and plastic and I don't mix. Especially the plastic. And this blue stuff right here, this is um, fingerless sleeves. And I bought these to use when I'm going and doing things like painting and resin work so that I can keep my arms covered and not have to worry about getting paint or anything else on myself while I'm working. They look pretty short, but they're the length they're supposed to be. I guess my arms are short. Okay. Then the next item up is a mold. Now this is not as large as I've seen everybody's molds from like Let's Resin. Um, however, I like this style of frog, and half the time, I don't do well with large items anyway, but it is large enough to make a difference, and these toes these show that this is a tree frog, not like your garden valley, your, your ordinary garden variety, excuse the mouth. It sometimes trips on itself. Um, frog. Um, these are also a little bit more like the normal garden variety flower than the other molds I've seen with the extremely long toes. So yeah, this mold's going to be useful and used a lot because I love frogs. I don't know why, just a thing from what, being a kid. When I'd go out frog hunting and come up with 50 or 60 frogs in a box to my mom. And then these here, all this is is um, 
for key rings and jump rings and uh, I'll be making a lot of key rings so I had to have some. I didn't want to open that because yes I would lose it all over the place. Um, and then there's these cute little tags. I thought these were adorable. I needed them because I've been talked into actually going to a craft show with my things by my mother-in-law and thought, well, I better have something special on them. So it comes with these little hemp ropes um, to tie on and these little circles. are made of wood and it says handmade with love so I don't like to try to bring these th kinds of things all the way to the lens because it sort of blurs things out and fades things out on most everybody else's cameras so I'll do it as far as I can all right Let's get those put back together because, well, yeah, I'll lose those too. Either that or I'll leave them on my table and well, my one favorite cat in the whole house decides to play with them and knock them off and play with them all over the floor and then I'll find them chewed up by the dog. Okay. I'm trying to pull these out as well as I can. Um... Oh, I'm so happy now. See, not only do I love frogs, but I have kind of an owl fetish too. Don't know why, I just do. And I'm always looking for a way to tell time because my tablets are usually involved in video or whatever else. And my phone, I usually keep it away from me so that it doesn't bother me while I'm working. So, I bought this to hang on a peg. Oh my goodness. Well, it's almost out. There we go. This is an analog watch, which I'm seeing right now is not running on the second hand right now. So, there's a little tab here I need to pull off of there and see if it works. Well, of course it doesn't. Of course, let's try pushing that in. And it runs! It's almost the right time here, but it's not quite. So I'll have to set that time later. That is so awesome. I like things that can go on a keychain or key ring and make me happy. Now, this also is meant for sales. And I hope I do sell some things because I am compiling and stockpiling dozens of resin items and paintings and yarn crafts and wood crafts for the last uh, craft fair of this year, which will end up being in about middle to late August. And these I thought were really cute. There's a roll of these things in different styles, but they all say thank you. Very happy with that. And then I have another one of these in here I know of for sure because this is a resin mixer for your drill. I w was hoping for it to be able to fit into my electric screwdriver, but that's an impossibility. 
because it has a very small opening to put anything into, except like drill bits or screw heads. And I'm feeling it. There's no real sharp edges, except for right there. So what I'll do prior to using using it is probably um, sand down these slightly sharper edges because I use silicone uh, cups for stirring. All right. Let's get rid of some of this plastic off of here. I'm just throwing all the plastic in my last, um, my first and only Chima order before these. And this I'm really happy to have. It is a set of crochet hook molds. And I'm hoping that they will be able to stay level because these were shipped and crammed together. This package here that you see, this whole package, this is three orders shoved into one. Not from China. It happens in California where the base is for our country. And they open everything up and they repackage it all. And so a lot of things can get damaged. Um, they look like they will set straight. I'm not quite sure. So I guess I'm going to have to um, do a pour for these soon and see how they turn out. I'll set that mold up here. And I don't know what's in this. Let's see. Okay, I do know what's in here. It is a deburring tool. So that when I have resin pieces with rough edges or sharp ones, all I need to do is utilize this tool to get rid of them. Most of the time, I will be doming the backs of things so that I won't need to do that, but at the same time, you still sometimes end up with some pretty sharp and rough edges. Oh, goody, tape. And it's um, paper tape. Should be easy enough to remove. We'll just slide it off there. It's a little sticky. But that's going to help me a lot in my work. I did use my uh, rotary tool, my Dremel, with sanding and such. And it doesn't, this one does not come with any spare blades. And now, this is another package of. PET stickers. And this one's just um, different types of leaves. And as you can see, there's some eucalyptus in here. There's all kinds of different leaves in here. This is a pack of 40 for sure. I remember that. I'll be putting the prices on the screen because, well, I just want to hurry up and get through this. And I do this in order to make sure that there are every there's everything here. 
Now, I already have one of these. These are the Lotus Flower uh, Coasters. I ordered three more for a total of four. So there should be one more in here somewhere. Oh, I'm sure I'll get to it when I can get to it, right? But I, I accidentally, on one of the orders, ordered three more because I had forgotten I had already ordered it and didn't bother to check. And so now I have a set of seven in total that will be here in the next two shipments, all everything. And so I've decided I know another project to do with these once I've got them done. Um, you'll be seeing that in the future. And then this here is a charger. I needed it because my other chargers, even though they are the chargers that came with my items, my Samsungs, they don't charge well any longer, even with the cords that were shipped with them. So something's either going on with Samsung where uh, they're limiting your batteries now, draining them faster, or uh, something with the company that I have my cell phone from and my tablets. But let's see, that can't be at the same time because the tablets I purchased from Verizon, my uh, Samsung phone uh, that I use for phone calls is uh, from Spectrum, and my old Samsung phone is from Verizon. And all of them have bad battery drain now. And it's been since the updates from Samsung itself. So be ca careful with your items, your phones and your tablets, because um, I believe it's their attempt to make you believe you need to have another device um, for people that are supposedly uh, complaining about the care of the planet. Well, I guess they don't mind mining all the materials from the earth. While at the same time, uh, updating technology or crippling your technology you already have so that you throw everything in the, to basically the trash. However, if you can't really throw things like that in the trash any longer. You have to pay to have them recycled. So they get your tablets and your phones back. You purchase, purchasing another one for you know, eight hundred, a thousand, two thousand dollars, and um, they don't really recycle those things very well. Um, they lie to you. But anyways, Quick Charge 3.0. Um, it's the travel type charger, and. It's got a max output of 3.5 amps, so I'm really hoping that I didn't screw up, but it also has two 3.1 amp. Okay, so I'm incorrect. There are three 3.1 or four 3.1 amp uh, sockets, and <clears throat> well, I'm kind of hoping. Um, that I can charge two items without a problem at the same time. All right. Ah, my clay tool I've been needing for quite some time. I don't know if you can see really, um, probably not because it's a little difficult to see through shiny things to tell what they are. I know people with bad eyes like myself have a hard time when there's a lot of shiny stuff around and the lights are playing off of it. But this here, this is a clay tool for creating um, little things, you know, like if you're wanting to do like uh, a human statue or something, this creates that hair for them.
Boy, I just completely took that out of view there. So yeah, that's what that is. All right. And some more stickers. Uh, PET stickers. These are blue butterflies, like the little white ones. Yes. Um, I've gotten into feminine things in my old age. And this here is basically a replacement um, micro SD D card reader because my husband's on the first one came in and it was um, defective it rattled on the inside broken so they gave me a swift refund that's something I like about Timu they do refunds very well um, they'll want a video or a picture of the problem the video can only be 30 seconds must be under a certain uh, amount of meg um, and so sometimes it's better just to do pictures. But the refund was swift, and they had me keep it. Um, also, there was a defective, um, uh, we call them things. Oh my goodness. Uh, goodness. Oximeter in that first shipment as well. And was swiftly refunded for that. So that goes to my husband. So that he can pull pictures off his SD card. His micro SD. And put it on his computer. Alright. Now. On to... Okay, it just says white. Oh, speaking of, this is an S, a micro SD and SD card keeper. I bought this because I need to keep all my micro SDs uh, in one place. And the micro SDs fit in the little slots there. And the SDs fit in here. Also, which will fit in there is um, are, are those SD um, adapters. All right, so we set that one aside as well. Because I do have to protect a few things. Okay. Now this, I purposely purchased another one each of this type of coaster. This um, Halloween is coming up, and I need to start in on Halloween things. So this is the graveyard one. This is kind of cool. I like it a lot. They are quite small, you know, this is the palm of my hand, but they are coasters, and they do have um, an area that a rim is going to be, but I don't see a way for it to actually keep anything on this, because it's just only a little small raised portion where the background of the sky is. Okay, so in my next orders coming in very quickly here, there is another one of those. And then I also have in my cart ready to go is, are, are two more of those graveyards. And the same for this one right here. Almost cut the mold. Sad. Spiderweb. So I have another one coming in a later shipment. And then two more being ordered so that I have a set of four. It's a small coaster system, but I have a cup that I use, I love. And it was made by Ziploc. It's this one here is I think a 16 ounce one. They had 12-ounce ones. 
and the base is kind of small. They are not insulated, as you could tell by the sweat on there. Um, so, like I said, getting ready for Halloween. More stickers. These are white as well, with some orange in them. Uh, maybe later on when I'm doing a resin video, I will pull them out so that you can see them. All right. Uh, speaking of, um, micro SD adapter. And this is a Kodak one. So evidently they are um, authorized to sell Kodak products. And you stick your micro SD into this little end right here. And then you stick this into the card reader. It, I have a laptop that uh, reads the larger SDs, but not the micro SDs, and that's why I purchased this. So it's an electronic, so we're going to go ahead and put it safe right now because, well, I goof a lot. And then they just sit in there like that. Okay, the next step here, this is a mountain range mold. It's, they said it's meant for aquariums, but they've only got uh, one aquarium mold and I wouldn't put resin in with fish. And so I've been working at trying to get the rectangular aquarium mold that you just pour resin into and you put little things into it to make it like a, a an actual aquarium and let's see as you can tell it's a little mountain range inside there and as soon as I get the other part because uh, they don't sell it together they sell it separately and as soon as I get the other part I will be giving that a try Okay. Uh-oh. I know what that one is. We're going to have to pull everything out first as much as we can. Oh, there's the blue one I ordered. All right, let's see what this is. One set. Oh, okay. I hope so, because if it was purchased as a set... Goodness. Paper, plastic, and tape. Glue. Oh, my goodness. All right, these are little 30 mil bottles with needle tips for filling. I'm going to be using this in the molds that require uh, two pieces to be put together. You put resin into something, you squeeze it through these little holes in those molds. And that's what these will be being used for also uh, for smaller uh, like keychain molds and stuff that had little tiny areas to get into and that will help me absolutely a lot with the little gnome keychains I've got. Uh, they have a lot of little tiny areas uh, for flowers and such so this will help me a, so greatly. Um, okay, I give. I'll look in the box because it's just a little smashed. Um, oh, 
Oh, good. I'm building a resin um, station where I'm going to have a leveling board and everything in it. I'm building all that myself. Well, some help from my husband. And these are leveler legs. They come with these little discs. Oh my goodness. Let's just pour it out right here. They come with these little felt discs, pads, that all you got to do is put them on there so you're not marring up any other surface. And then this part here gets stamped or hammered into the um, piece that you're going to want this leg to go in. Now, of course, you're going to have to drill a hole so that the legs can do a pass-through. But I've been needing a leveling table, and this is going to do great for me. And that was just a set of four. And they did send some extra pads, which is good. I'll keep that to put those back into in a minute. Get rid of some of the packaging again. Okay, this is heavy. Oh. This is my UV resin I ordered. Yay! First time I'm going to use this stuff. Uh, I see everybody else using it and doing cool things with it, like the raindrop effect and such. I've also noticed that it, between the resin and the UV light itself leaves marks, shapes, um, in your mold permanently. So I may have found a workaround for that. And this is why I purchased some, is because I want to make sure that it works doing that. Now it's in a black bag because this stuff is UV and natural lighting has a problem. There are three bottles of 100 grams in here, and they are pretty heavy itself, so this is it. UV resin, uh, Y-H-I-E-O is the name, um, clear hard type. All right, let's get this put away. Well, there's no light real fast. stuck in there right now and yes I do have more molds and now I'll probably be a lot more disappointed this is the snail mold but that's okay it's small um it did cost a little bit but like I said I'm okay with small items I just kind of don't like them represented as large um, to be able to sell them. That's how people do it. They make it look larger than what it is. So those are things you have to really watch on Timu. Basically, it's misrepresentation. However, they do give you the uh, measurements that it's supposed to become. You just gotta really look hard for them. But this little guy right here, he's cute. Um, I did watch somebody else use one of these molds and the eye stalks and such. Why does this one have, oh, okay, kind of feelers and eye stalks. 
So I did watch, and you, and you have to be very careful of these because when you're demolding, um, they have a tendency to break off. So a good idea would be to peel all of this away from your resin and then squirt a ton of uh, soapy water down in there and massage it in a little bit onto everything, squish down and massage, and then pinch at these parts right here and pop them out. It doesn't always work, I'm sure, but that's the better way to do that. Okay, I'm going to pull this out because it's right there. Oh, okay, we'll get this one first. <clears throat> this is a silicone or plastic, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's a 12-inch rolling pin. I bought this for doing clay work because... Well, it's easier to keep things from sticking to it. All right, let's get that one out of the way. <sighs> Guess I gotta take a couple more things out. Ah, my sleep mask. I don't sleep a lot um, at once. I take little naps uh, all throughout the 24 hour period. And a lot of it is done in the daytime, uh, which, of course, you know, with all the sun coming in now, with the season having gotten here finally for spring and summer, uh, well, sleep is absolutely important, although I usually make do with about maybe a total of five hours in 24 Okay, um, some more stuff to get out first before I can get that big one out. There's the other lotus flower. Uh, this here is, are a bunch of um, keys, like for steampunk. Uh, mixed colors, 20 grams worth. So it doesn't have a set amount. Of what's supposed to be in here of quantity just wait okay so let's get an idea of what their quality is like here okay they're basically um, coated plastic although some sounded kind of metal so, okay, not maybe not colored plastic. Um, it's an alloy of some kind that looks like it's poured into a mold. But they still feel pl like plastic underneath. Well, I'll see. But there's a good representation of what's in here. Small keys, larger, medium, and I'm going to blow it here by dropping a few of them, right? So I do like the different colorations. Um, I do like this key a lot. Some are very ornate. Some looks like most of them carry away to put them on a keychain or a um, necklace chain. And I'm not going to fight to get these back in the bag right now. I'll fight to do that later. Am I close enough to do now pull this out yet? Yes! Yay! Oh, I hope this comes out straight. As you can tell, this is a very large mold. It is oh, almost 24 inches. And what this is, is a tray for a table, or I should say a table top. Ugh.
Ooh, look at all that static. I'll see if I can get it out. And then it's gonna go right back in because with all that static, any cat hairs or your own hair or anything lint or dust and stuff will be attracted to it immediately. So that is pretty good sized. Be good for a side table. Really nice sized. Okay. Well, my husband just showed up. I'm going to have him help me get this in the bag real quick just to prevent having issues with all the static. You want to help hold the bag open, please, here, so that I can get this down in there. And open back up again. Let go, let go, let go. Okay. Could you take this and set it up on something flat? Um, just on, um, yeah, because that's the top right there. Okay. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, this is another mold. I have another one just like it coming. This is a planter mold. We live in a rural town. Well, it's actually a city. It's incorporated as a city. Uh, as a city. However, it's only large enough for, as I I'm concerned, a town. Um, my husband's been here most of his life. I got here 26 years ago. And I love the town. So as you can tell, it's a round mold. It's actually deep enough to plant something really good in. So in the soil can go in here. Uh, this would be great for succulent um, cactus. Uh, just all kinds of little things like maybe, um, oh my goodness, I used to grow them pansies. Uh, things like that. Uh, since it's resin, you, that will be done. Or if you just use clay or um, something like that. If you just use the clay and make the mold, then you're setting up yourself a good thing because <clears throat> uh, you can plant uh, herbs in things like this small. Um, just whatever you do, if you're going to use it for clay, never use it for resin, ever. You don't want to transfer it. Okay, so there's another good mold. And this here, these are presser feet for my sewing machine. And these are for uh, doing bias ribbons and uh, bindings and such. And I'm hoping they really work. Although there seems to be something missing in here. Nothing fell out. But there was supposed to be, I believe, a fourth piece. I'll have to check, but these are different sized ones. So that as you're going, it helps to keep them in line. Yeah, I'll definitely have to check because I could swear it had four pieces to it. It says three pieces on it though. Okay, well, we'll see. I might have misseen it. And then because I have glitter, of course, 
but you gotta have a way to control the glitter. And what I'm hoping is that these are twist-on caps so that they don't have little gaps like some of the others that I bought for that glitter idea. Um, they were I purchased the others at Family Dollar and they are just snap-on lids, but the lids have gaps. And so, of course, glitter is going to get out of those gaps. You just need something tight. <clears throat> so please be twist ons. They are. Oh, that makes me happy. Awesome. Okay, let's get rid of some more plastic here. Lots of plastic. Okay, there's the other stir. And I bought a microphone. It's a wireless microphone. And this is for Android um, phones. Uh, They've got the Type-C connection. You do get two microphones with little clips. I'm doing this because sometimes I have to have my tablet far enough away from my voice <clears throat> that it does get difficult to hear. I know people don't really like my gravelly voice anyway. Um, and there's the uh, part for your phone. The problem I'm going to have with this is uh, I need to keep my phone charged at the same time. And it looks like um, I don't know if that charges as well. I'll have to see what goes on by reading it. There is there's actually instructions inside this. I've seen a lot of things that come in that don't have instructions. Well, I'm not going to fidget with that too much. Um, now this is going to be the product I'm extremely worried about. I do know what's in there, but for now, I'll finish up with the rest of the stuff. This is a pack of 50 regular type of uh, popsicle slash stirring sticks, crafting sticks. Uh, these are going to be used for mixing resin in small pots. And this is a 5-in-1 sliding gauge. Because, as I said, I do, do woodworking as well. I make my own molds. And you really need to have a gauge to make sure that you have them in the proper uh, distances. So that's what I did. And last but not least, or not last because this one's last, but next to last, this is a Halloween mold. Um, It has a ton of confetti-sized um, pumpkins and bats and stars and ghosts. And I'll see if I can get it up there. I'm looking at the insides, and they're not greatly detailed, but they are detailed. It's got moons. Let's see if I can get that up there. What do y'all think? So yeah, it is small. It fits in the palm of my hand. And like I said, a bunch of confetti sized um, for like just thrown on your table for decoration at Halloween. 
And now comes the product I'm worried about because of the way it was shipped with supposedly three orders in here. It looks like it's been three orders. But this is one of those items, you know, breakable, and why they decided to put it in a soft package environment, I don't know. Because I think it would cost more to have to return broken items and refund and then such and so forth. So I'm hoping they're not broken. These are um, acrylic, supposed to be acrylic, uh, sheets. I got these because I do mold making and sometimes need to create a form around the mold so that the silicone can do its job and not have to use a ton of silicone. Well, that didn't last too long. I'm just going to put it all back in the bag, but the bag is kind of ripping open. So I guess we'll just Finish the job. There we go. Okay, now these are supposed to be clear. And that does not look clear. That's frosted. But it will do. It's a little flimsy. And uh, so they're going to have to have wood supports to keep them from bowing in. Yeah, that's frosted. It's not clear. So that's a kind of a disappointment as well because I have bad eyes and it's going to be kind of hard to see all that. Uh, well, what the mold's doing, um, the silicone is doing in the mold. Um, so uh, that's it. Tomorrow I'm expecting two more Timu packages in, which um, seeing what happened with today's package delivery, I'm expecting it to be just one package, and uh, for the things I think is coming in, there could be some breakage. All right, thanks so much for watching. Now remember, um, if you want to only, subscribe, like the video, um, remember to hit the bell so you get notifications when I upload again. Sorry that it's not actually, you know, kind of regular and share if you've got some friends that are interested. Thanks a lot. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. All right, I'm back. And, of course, I jumped the gun. There are supposed to be plastic um, filaments or films on these. And, well, bad eyes, and I'm trying to peel this off. But it is supposed to be clear, and I guess it might be just the film that is causing it to look frosted. Okay, when you have problems like this and you can't get the plastic film lifted, you grab a hold of some packaging tape. Make sure you don't paint the plastic or, or the tape residue under, underneath. Or, of course, I always try to keep it corralled. Um, and then just go up to the corner, lay it down on there, press really, really, really well, and begin pulling. And it's on there really well. Oh my goodness. Wow, that usually works. Okay, it's starting to peel it off though. Just a couple of extra wax. 
So there's one on each side, apparently. This one here is semi-peeling now. And they are clear. That's great. Okay, so nothing wrong with this one, and none feel broken, so I don't see any cracks or anything. So that made it. I just might have to leave them lay flat for a while because some of them are slightly warped in different ways. All right, again, thanks for watching. Quick update on this Eloho hand casting kit. It um, actually might be something that size. You just need a very bigger um, thing for, like, say, two hands to fit in like this into. Um, it's odd that it comes with something that opens up like as if it was a dispenser for um, baby wipes or something. But it does come with two mica powders. Uh, one is gold, one is, I think, silver, although it could be black and just look silver because of the bag. Comes with two mixing sticks. And two bags that are indiscernible of what they are on the front, but if you turn them over, this one is clone powder, so this is the alginate. You mix this one first. And you have one minute to thoroughly mix this and get it poured in. Your hands have to be wet or dampened um, before you put it in to the alginate. Um, it says natural sulfur milk, 10% white latex, 10% medical gypsum powder, 5%, talc, 64%, medical alcohol, 4%, medical glycerin, 1%, medical Vaseline, 5%, and natural pigment, 1%. And then this one here is the model powder. And... I don't know what's going on because it looks like uh, it's the very same portions ratio as the clone powder. But this is your casting material, which means once your alginate hands are done, you pour this in when it's after it's mixed. Um, so it does come with instructions. It's on the back. It says, number one, all must use cold water. So only cold water to mix the alginate, only cold water to mix the, um, I'm going to call it plaster. Uh, the ratio of water to powder is, step one for the molding powder, is seven and a half cups to the entire bag of this. Um, step two, which is the casting stone model powder, uh, this is 2.65 pounds, and no, this isn't anywhere near that anyway, to 11, or oh, one and a half cups of water. Keep stirring, must be fast, and evenly completed within one minute. Hands need to be dampened with cold water before reaching in. Step two should be slowly and evenly poured after mixing. Main ingredient is gypsum. So gypsum is in this. Shelf life, three years. Note, keep out of the reach of children and pets. So don't have your kids around don't have your pets around while you're doing this. 
All right. Again, take care, everybody.